it's Patricia and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go through all of the perfumes I own. Um, there, I have some that are really old. Uh, when I say they're old, they're from the 80s and 90s. Old. And then um, I have some that are more recent. Not a lot. Well, some I got here at Christmas. But then a, a few other pieces that are not that old. And so, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do, I want to go through everything. And uh, I went through majority of it and wrote down uh, what notes these fragrances have. And But my main goal today is to, well, I have two goals. One, to show you what I got. And two, to go through my old fragrances and see what do I want to just keep for nostalgic reasons or what I can get rid of or what might still smell okay because I haven't really smelled these in a while. So let's get started. Um, I am went through my perfumes and wrote down what's in them. I'm going to follow that and that's how I'm going to show you what I got. And then uh, the brand new pieces that I haven't looked up, which I have two I think I haven't looked up. I think. Two or three. Um, we will look those up at the end. Okay. So, okay. First, this is my favorite fragrance right now. Um, well, it was until my recent purchases. But this is uh, Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. Uh, I have got the 50 ml bottle. This has notes of citrus, vanilla, lavender, powdery, white, floral. It is powdery. I, I do get that. I, I do. I love this fragrance. Um, this is one of my favorites. I've had this bottle, I think, a couple years now. I've used that much. This is one I would repurchase. And definitely... I'm keeping it, so I'm going to see what I am going to do. I'm going to sit it right here for now. Next is one I got for Christmas. I'm going to take it out of the box. This is uh, by Guerlain also. I'm debating about keeping the box. I probably should for moving purposes to protect it. This is Aqua Allegoria Coconut Fizz. I have got the 75 ml bottle. This is uh, fruity, citrus, woodsy with bergamot and coconut water. I do like this. I was going to get something and spray these on. I do need to get something and spray. That smells good. I am very excited to add that to my collection. So there we go. Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Next, this was my birthday present last year. So I've had this a year. This is a bottle of Chanel number no. 5. There we go. Oh, I love Chanel number no. 5. It smells so good. This is a floral. It's uh, May, Rose, and Jasmine. Citrus and bourbon vanilla. Smells so good. I have a niece that only wears Chanel number no. five. And this is the 50 ml bottle. I have so. Oh, de Parfum. And that was my birthday last year. Oh, I'm taking things out of the bottles just to sit in front of me. Pretty, pretty. All right. This next bottle is uh, Anaïs, Anaïs Eau de Toilette. This is a new bottle. Uh, I think I might have may have had this one a year and I think I'm over halfway I think I've used over half of this so I will probably be repurchasing well I know I will be repurchasing but I might be repurchasing sooner than later um, this is what I wore in high school this fragrance came out in um, the late 70s and then it went away and then I think 2014 they brought it back I love this um, 
casherel. I don't know how to pronounce that. I think that's casherel. But this anise is green hyacinth, honeysuckle, lily, jasmine, ylang ylang, rose, and the base notes are amber, sandalwood, and musk. It is a musky floral. This just brings all kinds of memories back to me. Yeah, this is this brings this is high school right here. High school in a bottle for me. I love it. Uh, next time I think I'll buy a bigger bottle because I, I will use that. Okay, the next fragrance I have on my list. This is Red by Giorgio Beverly Hills. This is my mother's bottle. This was her signature fragrance. This is what she wore. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is, smells like my mom. Um, I have a very dear friend uh, who lives in, out in, um, she lives in Orange County. And we were pen pals. And uh, I think we started writing in grade school. Um, my, I went to a private school. She went to a private school and we did like this exchange. And so she and I started writing to each other. Well, she ended up going to college at UCLA. I went to college in, uh, at the Art Institute of Fort Lauderdale. But while she was in college, she worked at Giorgio Beverly Hills on Rodeo Drive. And so she introduced my mom and me to Giorgio and to Giorgio Red. And she supplied us with bottles and samples. And, but my mom just kept, kept getting the Giorgio Red. Now this has uh, osmanthus. Osmanthus, peach, ylang ylang, jasmine, and patchouli. Now I'm gonna grab a tissue. Uh, I didn't bring any papers. Let me tear this in half. Let me tear it again so we can get some sprays. Got it on me. Still smells good. It. it this is. My mother passed away in 2012, so I this bottle was pretty much new, and she wore it, believe me. So I'm thinking this, this bottle's not that old. It still smells good. I need to actually wear it every now and then. But I'm gonna hang on to this. This is, this is Giorgio Red, and this is a huge bottle. What size is this, 90 mil? Yep, that's <laughs> a big bottle. Okay, next, <laughs> I've got, uh, this is a Liz Claiborne fragrance, and this is Realities. Do they still make this? I don't know. We're now dipping into my fragrances from the 80s and 90s. Um, this is actually a tester bottle. It says so on the back. So that means I did a trade with somebody who worked in the fragrance department. And we traded products because we tended to do that, although we weren't supposed to. Okay, this one it has turned. Yeah, it's a, a. I can smell it, but then I get a strong alcohol smell. So unfortunately, it is no longer any good. Uh, the notes in this are peony, gardenia, orange blossom, sandalwood, and ginger. Um, I know they don't make this anymore. Do I need to keep this bottle? Like I said, it is, it, it can't be worn. So all I would be doing is keeping it for the way it looks. And I don't really need that, do I? I'm going to declutter it. It's gone. I don't really have any strong attachment to that bottle. Wow. Okay. Next. This is Cashmere. Uh, Chopard. Cashmere. Uh, this I bought. I remember buying this. Uh, this is a 50 mil. Right. No, that's got stuff on it. Let's get it clean. Okay. 
I'm probably editing a lot of coughing <laughs> between these fragrances. Now that still smells good though. It still smells good. It doesn't smell bad. Uh, I think this is a 90s purchase. <clears throat> Not an 80s purchase. Yeah, okay. Let's hang on to it. It still smells good. I will keep you. All right, let's move that tissue out of the way. Next, boy, this is old. Obsession, Calvin Klein. It's a tester. It's got the tester sticker on it. Which means, again, my friend Brooks and I, we exchange products because she's who I did that with. <laughs> she loved Estee Lauder. I loved the fragrances. Now, I could never wear the fragrance to work, of course. And I had to be careful wearing it out and about as well. But definitely couldn't wear it at work. I could only wear Estee Lauder. So, uh, this is an obsession is from the late 80s. No, I get alcohol. I get pure alcohol. This, the notes in, oh, I didn't tell you the notes in cashmere. Cashmere is peach, apricot, carnation, cinnamon, and vanilla. Now, for obsession, it's musk, mandarin orange, peach, basil, and vanilla. It it doesn't smell good, so I'm gonna I'm gonna trash it. I don't I don't need it. I don't need to keep it just to Yeah. Surprising myself. Now we're getting into some Estee Lauder. I have gone through tons of Estee Lauder fragrance in my life. Uh right now I have only three different scents. Uh there is some I used uh when I I worked for Estee Lauder that I wouldn't mind having another bottle of Youth do. That was her first fragrance. I don't own one at this moment. I have used all the bottles I had up. So the first one I'm going to go through is Knowing. Now I have two bottles of Knowing. Knowing came out when I worked for Estee Lauder. I've got the 75 ml bottle and a 30 ml bottle. And I wore the heck out of this to work. And I can pick it out when somebody else is wearing it. I, I, I can tell. <clears throat> but I don't think too many people wear, wear Knowing anymore. I'm pretty sure they still sell it. Knowing is notes of sweet rose, tuberose, melon, sandalwood, and patchouli. So, I am not sure of the years on these bottles. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, it could be late 80s. No. I, I, well, it could be late 80s. I'm not exactly. Knowing came out in 88. Okay. Could be late 80s. Could be early 90s. It's not mid 90s. That my, These bottles are from I'm sure these are not the first bottles I owned of Knowing, so I wouldn't say 88 or 89. Okay, the big bottle has turned. The big bottle has turned. Let me spray the little bottle. Okay, sprayer's not working on the little bottle. So there we go. I'm going to declutter them. I'm going to get rid of them. I don't need them. <coughs> I, I don't need them at all, so bye-bye. Next, Spellbound. I went through a lot of Spellbound, too. This came out while I worked for Estee Lauder, and this came out in 91. Okay, spray bottle is broken. That's probably why I still had it. So I'm going to trash it. Now, don't ask for these because they are not good. They are not, you, you can't use them. They smell so bad. 
um, these are going, I guess, maybe the recycle bin will take them. I don't know. But they are not, they're nowhere near good enough to wear. Yeah, so they're, they're leaving. And then last, my last Estee Lauder, I've still got more fragrance here, is Beautiful. Beautiful came out before I started working for Estee Lauder. Beautiful came out in 85. I was still in college. Um, but I did wear a lot of Beautiful. I preferred the Beautiful over Knowing or Spellbound. But when you work for Estee Lauder and you're selling the new fragrance, you wear it. You know. Mm, no. This one has turned. It smells so bad. Um... But I actually think I'm going to keep this bottle just for display. I think I'll just keep it for display. It is not a spray bottle. You can see, I don't know if you would be able to see. Um, I don't think you can, but I can see the fragrance is a little cloudy. But yeah, I think I'll clean up this lid if I can. I might just keep this one for sentimental reasons. The other ones I don't think so, but I think I'll just keep this for looks, but not to wear. The notes in uh, Beautiful, if you, I know they still sell it, black currant, bergamot, mimosa, magnolia, or, and sandalwood. Am I going to buy another bottle? No. Am I going to buy another bottle of any of those SL Otter fragrances? No. I don't have to wear them anymore, so I'm going to wear other things. Because for how many years? For almost eight years, I only wore Estee Lauder fragrance. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want another bottle of those right now. Okay, next I have a little spray bottle of Lauren by Ralph Lauren. Um, I think this came in a gift set. Uh, this came out in 1978. Uh, it is empty. It's empty. And I kept it. Well, no, there's a little in there. There's a little left in there. Let me see. Let me get a different tissue. There's like a couple sprays left. Oh! <laughs> Do you see how it turned the tissue yellow? You can see that. Oh, oh that's, that's rough. Um, I don't think I need to keep that. It's pretty. If I had the full-size bottle and it had gone bad, I probably would have kept it because it's such a pretty bottle. Whew. Okay, let's get those out of my nose now. Okay, let's switch over to some other stuff. Let's see. Oh, this one. Okay, I have a couple here going to finish out my old fragrances. I have a bottle of Cruise perfume and this is from uh, Carnival Cruise Lines. I bought this on my very first cruise in 1995. <laughs> um, I'm not going to keep it. I don't know if it's turned bad or not. Let's, let's spray it just for the heck of it. Let's spray it. Okay, there we go. Okay, it's not going to spray. Bottle. That's probably why I stopped using it. The bottle didn't work. I don't need to keep this. Okay, it's, it's going away. I never thought I would get rid of those old fragrances. I thought I'd keep them forever. Next, this one I tried to look up for you guys. They don't make this anymore. This is Worth Fragrance. Worth, Worth of Paris. Um, I can smell the alcohol in that. <laughs> it is so strong, but look at that pretty bottle. I'm actually going to keep this bottle just because it's pretty and just for display. But yeah, I don't even remember wearing this fragrance. But I 
got it. I don't remember getting it. I do think it was a tester. It's got this sticky stuff on the bottom. I think it was on a tester unit. So there we go. I wonder if it even had fragrance in it or if it was fake. It might have been fake to begin with. And I got it for the bottle because I've always loved pretty bottles. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that bottle. And one thing about both of these bottles, these I can empty. They're not sprayers. I can pour this nasty liquid out if I want. And I might do that sometime. But there we go. That is that. And then last, these just look nasty. Uh, these are Victoria's Secret Dream Angels Heavenly. I've got two bottles. My sister Teresa worked for Victoria's Secret for a while. So needless to say, I had a lot of Victoria's Secret stuff. I'm not going to spray this. I sprayed this one the other night and oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. And I never did like this fragrance anyway, so I'm just going to declutter both those bottles. Wow. Goodbye. There we go. Now, everything else I have is not old. So if I declutter, well, no, I have this little body by Victoria spray. I don't know if that's any good or not. Let's spray it just to see if it's any good. I don't know the year of this. Teresa worked at Victoria's Secret mid 90s. This one actually smells okay. Yeah, it doesn't smell bad. I just don't know when I got this. It could have been later. It could have come when I purchased clothes from Victoria's Secret. So it doesn't smell bad. Do I want to keep it? I'll hang on to it. I'll hang on to it. Okay, now I have a uh, roller ball. Uh, this is Maison Mar Margella. Is that how you pronounce it? Mar Margella? Margella? Paris? It's replica. It's beach walk. This is good. It's not bad. Now, beach walk is bergamot, heliotrope, and coconut milk. I really like this a lot. I bought this and uh, by the fireside at the same time and totally used up by, not by the fireside, by the fireplace. Totally used that little one up. I still have beach walk. I'm going to keep this. I do need another by the fireplace. I wanted one for Christmas and all the big bottles were sold out. So I'm going to have to wait until later, and, but I do plan on purchasing, just going for it and purchasing the big bottle because By the Fireplace is one of my favorite fragrances. Okay, next, I have a tiny little Miss Dior. This is the Blooming Bouquet. And its notes are Lily the Valley, Peony, Rose, Iris, Vanilla, Tonka Bean, and Sandalwood. I'm going to keep this. It is cute. I have a whole bunch of miniatures um, from back in the day that I started collecting in the 80s and 90s. I have them boxed up somewhere. I will find them when I get to them and I'll go through those and I will keep some. Some A lot of those will be for sentimental reasons uh, but not to probably wear. I never really wear the little bottles. Um, so yeah, I love miniature things, so that's what pulls me to these little bottles. It's a nice little bottle. It's glass. Okay, that's Miss Dior. Uh, these two, I didn't look up the notes, but I've got the Kat Von D, Sinner and Saint. I think they still make these. I have just these little, these little ones. I think they smell all right. They smell fine, so I'm going to keep those. <coughs> All right, what is next? I'm going into the, well, I didn't write this one down. I have a, also a little spray bottle of Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. This smells good. I really like this one, so I'm keeping that one. Now, scent birds. I have, um, is it Tocha? T 
T-O-C-C-A. I have Cleopatra. This is grapefruit, jasmine, vanilla, and musk. And I really like it. So I have that much left of that scent bird. Keeping. Alright. I have um, the brand is Nativa and it is Bahama. Bahamas. Bahamas. Elderflower, Neroli, Orange Flower, White Woods, and Musk. This smells nice. Um, don't plan on buying a bottle of either one of those. The Tatcha. Maybe the Tatcha. I, I do like their scents. But the Bahamas fragrance, I don't plan on buying that. Next, I have Lalique Amethyst. This smells very nice. I know Lalique is expensive. Um, the bottle would be the investment you're paying for. Uh, maybe a Lalique fragrance at some time I might purchase, but I don't feel the need to run out and buy Amethyst. It's nice. Amethyst is Blackberry, Blackcurrant, Ylang Ylang, Peony, Rose, Vanilla, and Musk. Okay, next I have Yves Saint Laurent Opium. Now, Anais Anais was my high school fragrance. Opium was my college fragrance. I took a bottle with me and wore it the whole time I was in college. And this, I have just a little bit left. I do want a large size bottle of opium again. This is bergamot, mandarin orange, carnation, jasmine, and patchouli. And opium came out in 1977, but I didn't get my first bottle until 82. So yeah, nice. And then last in my scent bird, I have uh, Juliet has a gun, another ode, O-U-D. Ode, ode fragrances I love. I discovered that here recently. I mean, I love By the Fireplace and this one. This is a close second. If I had to pick between this one and By the Fireplace, I'd purchase By the Fireplace. I've been wearing this one during the holiday season because it's what I had. I'm almost out. I mean, just a spray or two left in that and that one will be done. That's all the scent birds I have. I'm five. I have four atomizers and one extra, and that's all I have in scent bird left. I do think after the move, um, I might sign up for scent bird again. Okay, and then everything else, I have not checked the notes, so I will look them up on my phone. Okay, so... I got this for Christmas. This is um, Moogler. A, uh, Angel O Croissier. Croissier, I think. Oh, this smells so good. I tried a sample of it. And uh, I knew I had to have it. <laughs> so let me look up the notes and tell you. Okay, I'll not read the whole uh, description. I will just pick out the notes and tell you. There's fig milk, uh, magnolia, praline, and patchouli. And it smells. I smell the fig. I, it's, fig is what you smell when you just sniff it. Uh, I love magnolia. I love fig and the praline and the patchouli. It's good. So that's what's in this. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is this bottle doesn't stand up. It'll have to lay. It'll have to lay down. So there we go. That is my new Mugler fragrance. Next, I got this Rollerball Nest uh, Dahlia and Vines. I would assume. I would assume it has dahlia in it. It's a green scent. It's definitely green. It was a blind buy. Um, 
it was on sale on, at Sephora, and I just went for it. They still have it, in case you're interested. It is $14. When I purchased it, I was able to get an extra 20% off sale items. I don't know if that sale is still going on. I'll look here in a second. But this is in the floral family. It's Peony Green Notes Lychee. Definitely, I smell green notes. Um, I like it. I, I was a little worried, but I like it. It doesn't say Dahlia anywhere. It, oh, here we go. It combines Peony Rose, da Daffodil, and Dahlia. Okay, with green vines. So it's got that green, greenery smell to it. But there we go. I like that. And then last, they do, uh, ends January 1st, the year-end sale. So I'm planning on putting this up January 1st. So I better head over there if you're interested. Now, Carolina Herrera, good girl and very good girl. <clears throat> right? Yep, good girl and very good girl. Very good girl and good girl. Right here, let me look these up. It's got Jasmine. This is good girl. The black, the one in the black. Regular good girl. Has Jasmine, tuberose, uh, almond, tonka bean, cocoa, and coffee bean. Now, very good girl. Let me look that one up. Okay, very good girl. Top notes are red currant and lychee and rose with vanilla base notes. And it smell I, I think very good girl of everything I smell today is my favorite. Um I like very good girl. I think it smells really good. So yeah. Red Currant Rose Vanilla is basically the notes on that one. That's all of my fragrance. Not a lot. I'm keeping 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 22, counting five scent birds. Five of those are scent birds. And let me count how many I am decluttering. Okay, I'm decluttering nine fragrances which I never thought I would. But when it comes down to your moving and you only have so much space to pack that moving truck, and do you just need those bottles just to sit there? No, they can't go away. So yeah, I feel pretty good about it. Um, I plan on uh, growing my fragrance collection. I used to really be in the fragrance and then I stopped for so many years um, and now for the last few years I've just been kinda just dabbling a little bit but I think I really want to get back into fragrances so there we go thank y'all for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel I would love it if you would subscribe any questions or comments just leave them down below thanks for watching I'll see you next time